episode 13, we created a way using the Refile Gem where users could upload their picture to their account page. However, there was no indication on this upload to see how long it took or how much longer it was going to take. So today we're going to add a progress bar to our upload page so we can see how much longer it will take to upload the picture and how much of the picture has already been uploaded. Luckily, Refal already has the JavaScript libraries that allow this functionality. However, we do need to add them into our application. So under your application JS, just add in the require refile. And then in our form where we select our image to upload, in the attachment field helper provided by refile, we want to add in direct true. And this will cause the file to automatically start uploading once it's selected. We can then add in the progress bar and we're just going to reference it with this progress bar ID and notice that we are setting it to initially not display. So this is just taken from the bootstrap progress bar. And then in our user copy script file, we can first make sure that the DOM is loaded. And then we want to make sure that once the file starts uploading, we actually show the progress bar. So here we'll disable the submit button for saving the form. And then we'll also slide down the progress bar. We then can step through on the progress. We can get the math to come up with the percentage of where we at with the upload and then update the text and the progress bar with the width of the percent completed. And once that's done, we want to make sure that we are re-enabling the save button. And then we're also then hiding the progress bar. If you pull up the developer tools for Google Chrome, you'll have this little button up here for a mobile device where you can actually change the network throttling to something else. So you can see how your website will perform under different conditions. So here I'll select a slower bandwidth and then I'll upload a file and you can see it uploading the file and it disables the button to update the user whenever it is uploading the file. So once you hit update user, it'll download it right there. So that's all for this episode. Thank you for watching.